Hey everyone, welcome back to another Alex Bale reaction video on the channel where we watch videos you normally wouldn't watch. Usually the content we're watching around Alex Bale is in regard to his Spongebob theories, but this time we're going to be watching a video that theorizes about Alex Bale. And how does Alex Bale tie into Game Theory, Happy Meat Farm, ARG thingy? Hello, fellow Earth dwellers. Planning world domination can be rather tiring in this day and age, especially for me, who for copyright reasons is definitely not plankton. <laughs> so that's why in my free time, I like to play oh, Killer, which by chance is the sponsor for this SpongeBob video. Hunter Killer is a <laughs> monthly subscription box set sent right to your door, giving clues to help solve a fictional murder case. I got a hat. With each delivery, you'll sift through piles of documents, evidence, audio recordings, and case files, eliminating suspects and identifying murder weapons until you crack the case. I like to pretend I'm the murderer and plot to kill Mr. Krubs to steal the secret <laughs> Cassie Pabby secret formula. Each box is sent out monthly with an option to order the next box whenever you want. Hunter Killer goes by your own pace. If only world domination was as fun as a game of Hunter Killer. SpongeBob. <laughs> order your first box now and get 20% off by using promo code Inside a Mind. That's code Inside a Mind for 20% off. SpongeBob SquarePants is one of the most popular things out there during the internet age. And we're gonna make sure he's greeted by his two best friends. Who are they? Us! After premiering on Nickelodeon in 1999, the viewership around it doesn't appear to be slowing down, despite the general consensus that the later episodes aren't as good. So, it's not yeah. too surprising to hear that SpongeBob... Okay, I, I would agree that the later SpongeBob episodes are not as good, but SpongeBob overall, for me personally, is still very entertaining. Theories have been picking up a lot of attention on YouTube. And over the past year, there has been one channel in particular that has been skyrocketing in views based on his SpongeBob theories. Yes. His name is Alex Bale. For those who have watched my channel before will probably recognize that name. Alex is a filmmaker who made a web series called Pizza Time Pizza, which was a cult slash family cleverly disguised as a pizza restaurant. I made oh, a video cool. on it for those who have no idea what I'm talking about. But for a long period of time, it seemed as though Alex had stepped away from web series and was now focusing on Spongebob theories. William Fancyson III is Squidward's rival from high school band class, but I intend to prove that he's a fraud, using his wealth to make himself seem more popular and talented than he actually is. Or at least that's what it appeared on the surface. The first two videos seem pretty normal. It's basically what you'd expect to see on a theory channel like The Game Theorists. Mm -hmm. The first upload focuses on the rivalry of Squilliam and Squidward, while the other talks about the possibility that the whole show is a documentary being filmed by actual humans. The show SpongeBob SquarePants is not what you think it is. There is a secret <laughs> I love group of his puppet theories. masters who are always watching the citizens of Bikini Bottom and pulling the strings. The third one is where things really start to take a turn. This is not Mrs. Puff. You may think she's just SpongeBob's boating teacher, but you'd be very, very wrong. For years, she's been running from her dark and mysterious past, but it's finally caught up to her. And behind it all is a mastermind who's been secretly controlling her life and psychologically torturing her. If you guys thought my last two theories were mind blowing, oh, yeah. get. Wasn't it her, like, a type of punishment for her? I forget. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Ready for my biggest conspiracy yet. This is the Mrs. Puff Theory. The video begins just like the previous two, but this time following the story of Mrs. Puff, as Alex claims she had a past life we were unaware of. This video yeah. took a ton of time and effort to do all the research for, so I really hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching, and thanks to NordVPN for sponsoring this theory. Go to nordvpn.com slash alexbale or use code alexbale. Once we get to the end, it cuts to the third person. Alex is finishing yes. a video and exits to the kitchen. It's so good.
Yeah, because that, that monster thing is in the basement or garage. seems as though Alex isn't the one making the theories. Mm -hmm. He's just the face of the show. Oh, I love it. Are the Bikini Bottom citizens the result of nuclear radiation? Who is Pearl's mother? What is the Krabby Patty's secret formula? These are by far the three biggest questions in the show Spongebob Squarepants, and today I'm going to be answering all three of them and more with just one theory. Get ready for the darkest Spongebob conspiracy you'll ever see. This is The Evolution Theory. We're back with another Spongebob conspiracy. Guess I'm the Spongebob guy now, that's, that's all I make. You guys sure love these Spongebob theories. You know I got other videos, right? <laughs> I, I make films and stuff too. Anyone want to watch those? The next yeah. theory opens with Alex thanking his audience for the success of these theories, although he points out that these Spongebob videos aren't his main passion. He also makes short films and uploads them directly to the same channel, yet the views are significantly lower. Well, already then, that's the end of that theory. Just gonna end it here before there's any more dark plot twists. You guys have been insanely supportive with these Spongebob theories, so I guess I have to make more. I've been your host, Alex Bale. Thanks for watching. After the theory comes to a close, Alex decides to negotiate with the creature within his home. His theories get the most attention, but he doesn't want to be known as the Spongebob guy. He wants to be known as a filmmaker. But how do you do that when the theories are getting a hundred times more the attention of the projects you actually enjoy making? Hey, yeah. just want to let you know that- And that happens to so many creative people. That I, uh, I think I'm gonna take a break from the Spongebob videos for a little bit. Uh, it's not you. I mean, I mean, the videos are great. People, people love them. It's just, I think I want to- Go back to making actual films for a bit. The way he did this was so good. Uh, oh, okay then. Uh, thanks for everything. I guess I'll just, I'll just see you around. forever you know i don't want to be known as the, the spongebob guy yeah <laughs> Another one. <laughs> what the Dark Knight is a terrible the movie. Dark Knight is a terrible, <laughs> terrible movie. Hello, I'm the Cynical Critic, and today we're going to be talking about Christopher Nolan's masterpiece, 
the dark night. Okay, why why is this even coming into into the video? I'm confused. Listen, I know you're supposed to respect the dead. Oh, the door is opening a lot more. I'm noticing on the left there. What's going on? Dead or whatever, but his performance is just not good. It's really bad. I mean, compare this performance to Jared Leto, and Jared Leto hasn't beat. It, it just, it's not even a contest, guys. Not too long after this video, a that totally, the door opening was not on purpose. It doesn't seem like. <laughs> channel appeared online known as the Cynical Critic, ripping into critically acclaimed movies such as Parasite and The Dark Knight. Parasite. Yeah. It's an objectively terrible movie. Hello everyone, my name is The Cynical Critic, and today we're going to be talking about Bong Joon-ho's Parasite. This film has to be at the top of the list when it comes to most overhyped films ever. The Parasite video went viral on Twitter, filling his comments with furious users claiming Ooh. he missed the point. One particular comment went viral on Reddit, where it appeared the critic had forgotten to log out of his main account and replied to someone as if they were just a fan of the critic. Oh. While everyone was hopping on to laugh at how ridiculous this man's opinions were and his attempt to handle criticism, it didn't cross any of their minds that this may have been a little too good to be true. In the Dark Knight video, the door behind him slowly opens more ah, and more. I was right. I was right. Okay. I dead myself a little bit there, but we came back around and I was right. This is Serena with glasses to remind you to like, subscribe, click that bell so you never miss a reaction. And while you're at it, make sure to check out the links to our Discord and gaming channel down in the video description. Serena with glasses out. Throughout the video as if someone is on the other side watching. A missing poster can also be found in the background, oh. which almost looks identical to the missing posters from Alex Bale's Pizza Time Pizza series. On top of that, the video opens with Spongebob music playing in the background. I mean, the literal first shot of the movie is the Joker just standing around in public. You don't think anyone would recognize him just standing around with no mask or anything? And that's just the beginning. Everything else involving the Joker's plan just doesn't make any sense at all. Plus, when the cynical critic plays a supposed stock video while describing someone, he instead uses a video of Alex Bale. Black and white really? does not make something automatically more artistic or better. You know who makes black and white Yeah, a little Sega? bit. Kind of does. A high schooler making a short film. This channel is very clearly fake. It's actually part of Alex Bale's Spongebob theory story. The cine so he's Sam just kind of, he's, so he's saying that the cynical critic is actually Alex Bale's attempt to further something. Hello everyone, I am the Cynical Critic, and today we're going to be responding to hate comments. This has to be a troll, lol, still can't believe he forgot to swap accounts. Okay, I don't know what that second part's referring to. You're not a clown, you're the entire circus. Your review is garbage, no one will agree with you. Ah, inside of mine says, you're a genius. Thank you. <laughs> I know. A third video was released hey. after an onslaught of hate, where the critic decides to respond to criticism he received. But just before he hops onto the video, we see a bunch of unlisted reviews that seem to be a lot more positive. So what changed? Why has he suddenly began attacking these movies? Well. Just a little bit before we see the unlisted videos, we also get a brief shot of his emails, and from bottom to top, tells a story of how he became the cynical critic. Oh. He started this channel with a friend called Anthony. Both of them seem to be really passionate about TV and film, and that's why they created this channel. But that all changed after he received an email claiming his mother will no longer be insured for medical treatment. 
Straight after his email is when the critic began making more cynical reviews, because at the end of the day, negativity is what gets attention online. Reddit and Twitter pretty much proved that by how many views they gave his channel in less than 24 hours compared mm -hmm. to his positive reviews. After the first truly cynical review, which is now for some reason unlisted, Mark receives an email from Anthony who expresses his disappointment in Mark for making such a clickbaity title. They didn't make this channel just to get views. It was supposed to be a passion project, a place where they could both talk about movies. But obviously, yeah, it always starts off things like change that. when you realize you have to make money in order to survive. And in Mark's case, it's possibly to save his own mother's life. And it's mm. at that point where Anthony goes missing. Ooh. This next one comes from Sonk the Boot. We are going to move right along to The Dark Knight. The critic pauses after reading this comment. Something seems to have spooked him. Searching up the account reveals a YouTube channel uploading videos about Sonk the Blue Rat, a knockoff version of Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> but it appears there's a little more to it. Hey kids, it's me, Sonic the Blue Rat! Alex Bale makes these, these Spongebob Theory videos. Did he have this whole thing planned out like, all right, I'm going to make these videos. They're going to be really good. They're going to turn out really good. And people are going to want to watch them. And then once they get to a certain point, I'm going to switch it up. And I'm going to start at doing this, like adding the extra channel of the uh, critic one. So in order to have a channel like the Cynical Critic, blow up that was planned that's hard to do that's really hard to do and it's not guaranteed that just because something is negative it's gonna do well there are some negative things that don't do well it makes me question this channel's involvement the inside of minds channel did inside of mind know about this do you want to be my friend That's great! I love my friends! Today, we're gonna learn about the difference between a good friend and a bad friend. A good friend is someone who supports you, no matter what. Look at this friend here. He's a good friend. He gave me a flower. That's a good friend. Uh-oh! Look at this! This is a bad friend! He only cares about himself. He doesn't care about what you want. He doesn't care about what you need. That's a bad friend! And bad friends go to the bad place. Oh, that took a turn. But that's okay. He deserved it. That's all we have to learn today. Remember. Always be a good win. Gotta go fast. <laughs> it appears this video is almost like a metaphor of what happened with Anthony and Mark. As Sonk talks about a good friend who seems to be Mark, and then refers to a bad friend that doesn't support him, and how the bad friends go to the bad place. The second video seems to be referring to Mark's mother, almost as if they're reminding him that if something happens to her, it's all his fault. Hey kids, it's me, Sonk the Blue Rat, your best friend. Today, we're gonna learn about how to be a good friend. Yay! A good friend always helps their friends. Uh-oh, look at the friend over here. She's sad. Why don't you help out your friend? No. Uh-oh, you don't know how to help your friend? That's okay. I can make your friend all better. All you have to do is give me a flower. Ah, thank you. But if you want me to make your friend better, I'm going to need more flowers than that. What's the matter? Don't you want her to be better? If she gets worse, it'll be all your fault. 
Whoa. Okay. Wow. Ah, there you go. She'll be better in no time. That's all we gotta learn today. Remember, always be a good friend. Gotta go fast. Oh, well, you tried. Hey, everyone. So now we're getting into like a, an actual connection between the cynical critic and Alex Bale with this review. I'm the one and only cynical critic. And today we're going to be talking about Alex Bale's horror short film, Late Night Snack. Alex Bale. I also like how the cynical critic has a stuffed Sonic. I don't think that was there before in his earlier uh, videos. Film, Late Night night snack. Alex Bale is a popular YouTuber who, and I mean this quite honestly, makes really great Spongebob Theory videos online. Cynic comes back after a few days to review another film, this time a horror short on YouTube uploaded by Alex Bale. He goes on to criticize how badly it was put together, but yet can't wait to talk about how amazing his Spongebob theories are. Alex, go back to making Spongebob theory videos. No one wants to see your awful horror film. I don't know. I guess I'll give it a 3 out of 10. And that's only because it was a low-budget indie film. I'd probably give it less if I was comparing it to any big-budget movie. If you want to help out, leave a comment telling him how bad his films are so we can get back to making Spongebob Theory videos. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe I and hit the bell icon did. to be notified for new videos. I've been your host, the one and only Cynical Critic, and remember to stay cynical. See you later. It seems as though this isn't Cynic speaking. Someone else may be telling him to do this. Isn't it a bit of a coincidence that the second Alex explains how he wants to stop making theory videos, suddenly a cynical critic appears out of nowhere and begins ripping his latest oh. short film oh, and praising oh. only the Spongebob <laughs> theories? Is it possible that the creature in oh. Alex's garage has more influence than we thought? In this video, there appears to be a mysterious black goo oh. leaking from the vent, similar to what we will see in the next Spongebob theory. Oh, I didn't notice it. I'm a little disappointed in myself. That was probably nothing. Ugh. There's no tension, the pacing is slow, it fundamentally fails as a film. Alex, go back to making Spongebob theory videos. No one wants to see your awful horror film. I've been your host, the one and only cynical critic. Remember to stay cynical. See you later. And we're back! What's up? I'm your host, Alex, the Spongebob guy, back with another Spongebob conspiracy. I've said it before, but the overwhelming... It appears the influence of Alex's muse has worked. The hatred sent to his short film from Cynical Critic destroyed any passion Alex had left. He's been convinced that no one cares about his work. So, if you can't beat them, join them. <sighs> okay, that's, uh, that's another one done. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Alex. We've got more on the way. I'll see you next time. Hey, listen, that, that theory was awesome. You know, I don't know how you keep coming up with these, but, I mean, they're great. And, and listen, you were, you were totally right, you know? The people want SpongeBob theories, so who am I to ignore them? So, thank you. He's like, deep the bag. Uh, hello?
Oh. Forget what happened. He can't do it himself. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot this. Why, why are you on my ceiling? Oh, so Our good. Boys have done well. But if we are to continue our work, I will require something more. The credits roll and Alex's name has been removed, replaced with the SpongeBob guy. So what exactly is this creature? Why does it have so much power and influence over people? Why does it hide in the shadows? Well, users over on Alex Bale's Discord server may have figured something out. They made a Google Doc documenting the events that unfold every few weeks, and they discovered a post on Reddit talking... Like, are they also a part of Alex Bale's promotion of this whole elaborate thing or is it him just putting out these these videos and with these clues hoping that someone just one person notices and is able to connect these things and is willing to speak about it i'm just amazed i'm just amazed with this whole thing because i watched the spongebob theory singing nothing nothing about Anything further than Spongebob theories. <laughs> ...about a company called Happy Meat Farms, which led to a YouTube video Ooh, and a I website about a company that. that specializes in farming and breeding animals for meat. Here we go. Welcome to Happy Meat Farms where we believe in a happier, humane future. There's nothing better than a delicious prime rib steak or a steamy chicken cooked to perfection. But do you really know where you're getting your meat? Nowadays, there's so many factory farms that cram hundreds of animals into tight, unlivable spaces. And most animals are being genetically modified to produce as much meat as possible, but at the cost of giving the animals a painful life. After seeing the horrors of the meat industry, we founded Happy Meat Farms in 1998 with one goal in mind, finding a more humane solution to farming. And that solution was to raise these animals the same way they're raised in nature, the way God intended. Our animals spend their days in wide open fields outside, where they're able to roam and be free. We raise our animals 100% naturally, with no GMOs or chemicals added. We believe that the best meat comes from the happiest animals, even if that means giving up profits. By the trusted hands at Happy Meat Farms, a company that you can trust. <laughs> Happy Meat Farms also has the same initials of a company we've been seeing in the background of several other videos across all YouTube channels that are involved in this story. Oh, shit. Plus, when you visit the website, there's an image of a cow in the background that briefly oh has the my. word muse painted on the side. It becomes even more disturbing when you watch the YouTube video. Matt did not mention some of these details in his first theory that we watched. This is... I'm a little nervous. Oh, it is. Oops. 
some of these I've seen. It appears the company are experimenting with、uh, the animals on the farm, and、yeah. one of the subjects in particular is called MO101. Its、mm. current status: missing. Yeah. It was that the female, right? I didn't see that part. Recommendation: that find it immediately. Seems as though we're getting a little origin story for where our muse came from, but that is all we have so far. The muse appears to be in control of several other people. Alex is now in the work of a sixth SpongeBob、That's、theory,、crazy. and we no longer have to worry about non-SpongeBob videos being uploaded to his channel. That's great, right? Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to check out the SpongeBob Guys YouTube channel. It's Alex Bale、um, on on here, and don't forget to check out his Discord servers as well. I'll obviously leave a link in the descriptions for those if you want to join in with the story. There's a few other things I didn't mention in this video、uh, th that I just didn't think watch would fit the, the flow of the story, like Conspiracy Carl. But feel free to go check out the Google Doc.、Uh, that gives you a big old description. Um, of of what happened with with his stuff over there as well. Okay, take care, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. I'm like so suspicious of everyone now talking about this. Nothing, nothing. Just time that goes into creating this. Like, do you understand? To have all these channels connect, it's that's like a huge ass project. So I'm I'm intrigued. <laughs> All right, but if you did miss my reaction to the Alex Bale SpongeBob theories, then make sure to check them out right here. Or I also have my recent reaction to the game theory,、uh, theory on the Happy Farms, Happy what is it? Happy Meat Farms,、uh, ARG. Their first, yeah, that's right here too. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.